Well, hello, lovely friends. I hope you're all well. So today's video is going to be a tag. Now, my friend Claire, who has a YouTube channel like me, and I'm gonna read this because I don't wanna get it wrong, is the Love of All Things Beauty channel. I've been kind of friends, known Claire for quite a while. We've only met a few times, and she tagged me in this video. So I thought, well, if she's done it and it's good enough for my friend Claire, then it's good enough for me. So basically, these are all kind of full things that um, I wanted to share with you that she tagged me in. So it's just a full favourite. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So the first one is, what is my favourite candle? I've got the questions on my phone, just in case you wonder why I'm looking down. And this, it was easy for me because I recently received a lovely parcel from the brand Sheer Innocence. I did a blog post on them, I will link them below. And she kindly sent me quite a few candles and quite a few body butters. And one candle which I simply adore is the Sweet Orange and Chili. Now, as you can see, I love it that much. I have basically nearly gone through half of it within a few days. It smells of sweet orange and chili. It's kind of, it's not overpowering. It's not an overpowering scent. It's just a very clean, kind of crisp, luxurious scent. It's not a scent I've, I've smelt before and I just love it. I feel like if she brought out a room fragrance or something like that in this scent, I would be all over it. You know what, even if it was a fabric conditioner, I would be all over it. I love it that much. I'm gonna be very sad when it goes and once I've reached my candle using peak, then I might have to go out and buy a new one. Oh, candles, There's, I have a problem. The next question was, what is my favorite lip color? Now, I don't really wear lipstick that often, but I do love a magazine freebie. And I think it was the December issue with Tanya Burr on the front of it, the Glamour magazine. They had the Clinique, kind of four products from Clinique. Two were lip sticks. One was a face moisturizer and one was a mascara. And I picked up the red version of this lipstick um, for one of my friends who I was having a Halloween party with. And I picked up the nude version for me and this is the nude version I mean it's teeny tiny but it does the job I've got it on now and this is the without my glasses on this is the nude pop color pop from Clinique it's a really really lovely your lips but better shade it's very moisturizing it doesn't dry my lips out and it's one of them nudes you can just wear all the time and it will just go with everything and I feel very smart and put together when I have this on so if you're watching this in December, uh, wherever, whenever that magazine came out, I can't remember because I don't have it here, but pick up this little dude. I might have to go and fork out for the full size because I like it that much. Next question. Uh, what, oh, hello. My phone's just gone a bit, right. Uh, what is my favorite drink? My favorite drink I might just have in a little calf kids and mug is a cup of tea, which there's only a little bit left in it, hence why I'm shaking it about. I am not allowed to drink too much tea because I have a problem with salt and um, dehydration, which sounds really random, but one day I'll explain to you about it. So I love tea. I've always loved tea since I was little. I don't really do coffee, so you would never catch me in Starbucks ordering a coffee. If I go in Starbucks, it's either a English breakfast tea um, or it is a hot chocolate from Starbucks. I'm not really into the whole coffee, eggnog, Christmas themed drinks at all, but I do love a cup of tea and I have to not have too many cups a day. So I have one a day um, and I'll have that with my breakfast in the morning. And other than that, if I have too much, then I've got to substitute it with more water to keep myself hydrated. So a, a long story short, my favorite thing is a cup of tea, which I just devoured before I filmed this video. So that's an, uh, a normal English person's response, isn't it? Oh, I like too. What is my favourite blush? This is easy. I've got it on now. Ever since I received this for my birthday, I think it was in February, I can't get enough of the bloody thing. Um, it is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I absolutely adore it. I haven't really used the other two colours because I just found that this middle shade here is just it's amazing I love it it just really awakens my pale complexion the other pink shade which is this one here uh, as as much as it's lovely I don't love it as much as the middle shade and the bronzer is lovely but I like to contour more 
then uh, kind of bronze with a shimmer so, so I haven't really used that that much but this palette um, Space NK went above and beyond to get this for me for my birthday so I love Space NK and I love their customer service so yep this is what I've got on now and I think this is the incandescent Electra that I have on my cheeks from what I can gather from the back of the packaging that's what I've got on so that was really easy when I read the question I was like yep I know what that is and then the next thing is my favourite clothing item. This was also easy. I don't, I really wear quite a lot of thin layers. I don't really wear like a massive coat or anything like that. So in my office, you can never tell or gauge what the temperature is going to be. Sometimes it'll be really cold, sometimes it'll be really hot. And for that reason, I love me a scarf. So I have three scarves here. This one is a light kind of grey um, scarf that my friend bought me for a present. It has silver feathers on it. I love this because it's light I can leave it draping down in front of my cardigans and t-shirts and it just adds a little something something to my outfit so I really like that one the next one is a pashmina cashmere mix um, scarf which is in this purple shade which I received from catwalk glamour so I link them below when uh, ages ago must have been over a year ago I've washed this thing so many times it's soft as a baby's you know what and I absolutely love it it's so light but thick and it keeps the heat in and helps my poor little neck and the other thing that I'm addicted to is Zara scarves and I've had this scarf which is this gorgeous Aztec print one with like a turquoise um, section to it it has tassels on the end um, I love this it's literally like a massive blanket I could never be able to show you it properly in a video but this this little baby everyone admires it when I go into work with it on because it just it's just so lovely I wear it like a kind of like a blanket all over me um, and I put like a little pin with it sometimes if I want to keep it on like that but I love it you can even use it as a pillow it's that massive so they were my scarves and next is my favorite fall movie now I'm not really a massive movie buff I don't really watch DVDs that much at home, I kind of just watch like a lot of catch up TV and things that I've recorded on my Virgin Box, Virgin Media Box, that sounds wrong, um, but I like to watch movies in the cinema, so I think my favourite full movie, without even going to see it, will probably be the new James Bond, so I'm looking forward to going and see that, but other than that I don't really have a favourite full movie, apart from things like Home Alone uh, when they're on at Christmas time. And then the, my favourite full TV show, I don't really watch like Walking Dead or anything like that, I watch quite a lot of crappy TV like Made in Chelsea and TOWIE and stuff that I don't really need to engage with, it's just on in the background and I can just watch it. So I watch quite a lot of kind of normal girly kind of TV programmes and I like Downton Abbey, I watch X Factor so I don't really have a favourite full TV show. Um, favourite Thanksgiving food, uh, being English we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving here but we celebrate Christmas of course and who doesn't love a bit of turkey, you've got to love a bit of turkey at Christmas so I'm looking forward to having that this Christmas with some nice cranberry sauce and then having turkey sandwiches for the next god knows how many weeks afterwards and then the last question is favourite Halloween costume now I must say Halloween has been and gone at the moment and we did have a Halloween themed party in conjunction with Midori I'll link that post below if you haven't read that before and I we didn't dress up but if I was going to dress up of course being a crazy cat lady I would have to go as a cat quite easy to do I've got quite a lot of black clothes I would just pin a little towel to myself wear some high heeled shoes paint my little nose do some whiskers and some nice cat eye themed mascara and uh, eyeliner and then I would just go as a cat so that is my full favourites tag thanks very much to Claire for tagging me in this I'm sorry if I've gone through it really quickly but I had everything here so I might as well just snap it out don't forget to hit the subscribe button wherever it is if you like this video and I will tag below the people that I think should do this full tag and I will tweet them as well to let them know that I should um, that I want them to take part basically anyway guys thanks very much for watching I'll see you in the next video bye